Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ibn Naufal. I am from the phonology D class. On this occasion, I would like to explain about phonemes, allophones, contrastic distribution, and complementary distribution. So basically, what is a phoneme? A phoneme is a sound unit in the language that distinguishes meaning in the language's smallest unit. It cannot be pronounced due to phonemes being a mental reality, opposite from phones. The transcription of phonemes is using double slashes, while phones are using square brackets as the symbol. The study of phonemes is deeper in phonology, and the study of phones is comprehensively learned in phonetics. The examples are e, y, and a. Okay, next topic is what is a minimal pair? Minimal pair is a method to compare two sounds in the same environment. We use minimal pairs to identify them, whether those sounds are different phonemes or allophones. We can see here that the e, y, and a are the phoneme. And also, it, it also can be allophone or a phoneme. Okay. If two sounds are semantically different, then both of them are separate phonemes. But if they do not, they are different in allophones. The examples of minimal pairs here in English language are p and b, and both of them are different phonemes because they, they change in meaning, like prey and bray. Prey, p basically, is voice belabial passive, while b is voiceless, I'm sorry, p is voice belabial passive, while b is voiceless belabial passive, and both of them change in meaning. But in the Arabic language, p and b are different allophone from phoneme b. They do not change in the meaning. So basically, if we say Pepsi or Pepsi, it doesn't change the meaning. It's still the one thing. And it's still the one thing. Because b is an allophone for the phoneme b, and p is an allophone for the phoneme b. So basically, after we see an example of allophone here because it's an allophone actually. What is an allophone? An allophones are phones which are a variant of a phoneme itself. An allophone use square brackets as the symbol. An allophone just changes a little bit of how we speak without changing the phone or the phoneme. Allophones are predictable. And we can make a rule of that. It's called a distributional statement. Resulting in contrastive distribution, complementary distribution, or free variation. The, exam the another examples of allophone is phoneme p, as in pin, spin, and stop. In pin, p sound has strong path or with aspiration, we say pin. And in spin is a weak path of air. While in stop is no path of air, it's just like we hold something. And the distributional statement of P is in a pin what what initially and standard P in after S and in a stop work in the word finally. So after we understand about that thing, let's go to the next thing. So what is the distribution of speech sound? Contrastic distribution, complementary distribution, and free variation are parts of the distribution of speech sound. It is how sounds are distributed within the phonological inventory of a given language that tells us whether two or more phones are allophones of the same phoneme or different phonemes. 
the word distribution refers to the set of phonetic environments in which a phone occurs. The phonetic environment of the sound consists of the sounds that surround it. The sounds that precede it and the sounds that follow it are phonetic environments and they can influence the articulation. Examples are breeze with freeze, bell with bill, and head with head. We can see in the phoneme transcription, they are in the black mark that means environment of the phonetic. Okay, so let's move to another thing. What is a contrastive distribution? This is the situation in which two phones occur in the same environment and result in semantic contrast. To determine whether the contrastive distribution of two or more sounds occur in a given data set, we need to find two words with the same number of phones that differ in one phone in the same position. The way to determine that thing is called minimal pair that can be in initial, medial, or final of a word. But sometimes there is some difficulty using minimal pair in a new language that we learn. And we can use near minimal pair to test whether focused sounds are minimal pair. The examples are about minimal pair can be breeze with freeze in, 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 the, in the initial position, bell with bill in the middle position, head with head in the final position. And also, this is a near minimal pair, either and either. But and also, lastly, there's not a minimal pair, like feel with food. That's not a minimal pair, or even a near minimal pair. OK, let's move to other thing. What is a complementary distribution? Complementary distribution, it is a relation. It is a real, so basically, what is a complementary distribution? It is a re relation between the variance of a phoneme without changes the meaning. It occurs in a specific set of phonological environments, and these variants are called allophone. A phoneme takes a slightly different form depending on the environment in which it appears, and it becomes different allophones. So the distribution of statement is used to make a rule about allophone in which they occur and why they exist in the environment. The example here in the phoneme P, like in the, in the previous slide, like P, what initial followed by a vowel, we can write a formula like this, a P preceded by S, and P in the word finally. Okay, this is an, an example of how we make a distributional statement and explain about that thing. Okay, I think that's all today in this video talking about phonology stuff. Thank you very much. And finally, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.